Biden, who's been a senator, I forget how many years, more than 30, he knows what the filibuster is. He likes the filibuster. He said he wouldn't try to do away with it. Now he's waffling. Roll the tape. I'm going to say something outrageous. I have never been particularly poor at calculating how to get things done in the United States Senate. So the best way to get something done, if you, if it holds near and dear to you that you uh, um, like to be able to, anyway, I'm, we're going to get a lot done. And if we have to, if there's complete lockdown and chaos as a consequence of the filibuster, then we'll have to go beyond what I'm talking about. But he doesn't know what he's talking about. You saw it there. He lost his train of thought. He didn't know what he wanted to say in the beginning when he started. He knew. But then he forgot. All right. Now, I'm not going to say that he's got any kind of permanent condition, but I'm going to say that he's in decline. Is that fair? Is anybody going to challenge that? Okay, next soundbite. Um, this is perhaps the most outrageous soundbite. Go. The third reason I said I was running was to unite the country. And generically speaking, all of you said, no, you can't do that. Well, I've not been able to unite the Congress, but I've been uniting the country based on the polling data. Okay. So today, here's the polling data. The Rasmussen Daily Tracking Job Approval. 47% of Americans approve of the job Joe Biden is doing. 51% disapprove. That's today. That sound like a united country to you? Does it? Now, again, does Biden know? He doesn't know. Nobody told him that. Maybe Jill told him that. Maybe Kamala told him, oh, yeah, polls show you're a united country. That's right. <laughs> this is not a serious man today. It's not a serious man. All right. If you were in a job, if you were a teacher or a police officer or someone who had to use facts, all right, in order to fulfill the requirements of your job, you would have been fired. Oh, there's no problem at the border. It happens every, every three months in the beginning of the year. Oh, you know, I'm uniting the country. The poll numbers show that. And you're sitting there going, no, that's not true. Final soundbite. Um, again, befuddled. Yeah, go. We're going to be moving within the next... Uh Within the next week, over 100,000, I mean, uh, 1,000 people out of uh, the Border Patrol into safe, secure beds and, and facilities. We're going to significantly ramp up. We're already out there contacting everyone from getting some of the employees at HHS. There's a lot of them doing other things and move them into making those calls. We're in, the, we're in the process of rearranging and providing for the personnel needed to get that done. Okay, to get what done? To get notification of minors who come here illegally. They are now going to be set free and sent to where, whatever information they give the Border Patrol at taxpayer expense. So, I, I mean, you know, 100,000, 1,000, he doesn't know. So let's go overall here. Um, Joe Biden was not in control of that press conference. He said things that weren't true. He was um, distracted, to say the least, in his thought process. He used notes and actually read from the notes, prepared, okay? And the press just stood there and really didn't do anything. They were as befuddled as Mr. Biden was. Now, the press is very respectful to the president. I think we would all agree. All right. Again, they use no stats at all. No stats. Like, you, you know, Mr. President, what you're saying about the border isn't really true based on what the Border Patrol says or based on what the polling says. 
It's not, we're not really sure. None of them did it. Not one of them brought stats into that, which is just a disgrace. I mean, I've been a reporter for a long time. I mean, these people are not prepared. Now, why? Because they're, they don't want to make Biden look bad. They lacked energy. Um, it was an amazing contrast to Donald Trump when they wanted to hurt him. Super aggressive. Here they, uh, they asked a few questions about the border, but nothing meaningful. Nothing at all. Fellow Americans, I am concerned about the U.S. dollar. Huge debt, as you know. Will it stay as the world's reserve currency? That's why now more than ever, I recommend you diversify with gold and silver. And the only company I recommend and have for years is American Hartford Gold. I trust them. I've personally done business with them. They sell physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA. And they make it very easy. So call them right now. Make sure you tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you. And they will give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. Since I have been recommending American Hartford Gold, gold shot up more than 40%. Silver, more than 60%. So don't wait. Call them now. 866-501-5201. 866-501-5201. Or text BILL to 65532. Again, that's 866-501-5201. Or text BILL to 65532. Bill O'Reilly here. Thank you for watching this video and make sure you subscribe to the First TV YouTube page. Just hit the big red subscribe button below and you'll get clips and highlights of my program, The No Spin News, every single day. We'll see you soon.